Hi, this is Miss JJ. Um, y'all call me different things. Jacqueline Richardson, uh, Deja, Miss JJ Diamond. And today I come to y'all to show y'all my makeup, the way I put my makeup on and why I put my makeup on the way I put it on. Um, it takes me some time over an hour. Um, being an independent label, publisher, and artist, um, sometimes you can't afford to hire these, um, what they call them, um, makeup artists. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm a little tired. Makeup artists to do your makeup. However, when I was in Maryland, I had a, a makeup artist and she was awesome. Um, however, when I moved to Charlotte, that didn't happen for me. So, um, I had to learn how to do my makeup myself. It was hard um, starting out, you know, um, but I learned, you know, um, with the help of a lot of the sisters in the industry. And when I say in the industry, meaning the entertainment industry, um, it's a hard process in the beginning. But once you get it, once you start, you'll get it. You know, um, it takes a while, but you will get it. Um, and the thing about in the industry is you got to always be ready. And sometimes you only have a certain amount of time. You know, you can't be running out trying to get a makeup artist and somebody call you for a show. So you got to be able to do your own thing. You know what I mean? Um, that's just what it is. You know, um, the other thing, the other reason why I wear makeup and I've always hated makeup. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because... It messes up your skin, you know, um, so it's hard to find good makeup um, that don't mess up your skin. Um, the other reason why I wear makeup now is because being that I am a brand, Miss JJ Diamond is a brand. Uh, every time I put a picture <laughs> somewhere, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, they might snatch the picture and, and, and produce it on, on Google. And once they do that, um, that picture is there pretty much forever, you know. Um, so I look at some of these pictures and be like, oh, no, they put that picture up there? That was just a picture for the, the Facebook, you know. Um, but this is what they do. So I always try to make sure that majority of my pictures look good. So when they do snatch these pictures and put them on Google, I still look good. Uh, and when other companies go to look me up and look for me, they see beautiful pictures, and then they know that they can hire me for their um, their projects or whatever the case may be. <sighs> Y'all see this? Well, I'm going to tell you the story to this, and then I'm going to get into it. I had a lot of boyfriends that just liked to beat on women and got punched in the eye a couple of times, and this is, was the end result. Um, when my allergies are bad, it flares up. The inflammation sets in here and gets real dark. And that's what I'm stuck with for life. So, um, yeah, I don't want my pictures on Google presented to the whole world with a black eye. You know, so that's one of the other reasons why I decided, yeah, I needed to put this makeup on if I'm going to go deep in. So, yeah, I've been doing the makeup now for over six years um but not every day because it takes me a while to do it so I, I i i don't have time you know especially with my busy life the baby i don't have time to get up every morning and put on makeup unless i can stay home and live that life you know and at this point yet yeah, i i'm not able to stay home and live the life where i can get up and put my makeup on and go work out and you know, no, I, I can't live that life yet. So with, with that being said, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't do it every day. But I decided to do it for some of you because um, I noticed that some of y'all be trying. You know, y'all put your lipstick on, y'all put your eyeshadow on. But if the base is not on, it doesn't look good. It doesn't matter whether you're dark skin or light skin. It doesn't look good and it's not camera ready. And... That's what they call pro-ready. Um, when your makeup, even with guys, when they do movies, sometimes if the skin is, has blemishes, they will put a coat of makeup on them so you can be camera-ready. 
And when they say camera ready, meaning you don't see no blemishes, you don't see no black eyes. When you turn to the side, the light is glaring off your skin and you look good. So, yeah, this is pretty much why I personally uh, uh, <laughs> try to be camera ready. And if y'all that's going into the industry, whether it be retail, whether it be music, acting, yeah, you need to uh, learn how to apply your makeup, okay? Um, well, I'm going to start out with my eyelashes. I am allergic to whatever the eyelash, you know, I'm allergic to a lot of things, y'all, and I just don't understand my body, but I'm allergic to a lot of stuff, and it just kills me, you know, I have to be very cautious with everything, but um, I used to use the eyelash glue, and it would make my eyes itch, okay, then I started using the bonding glue, I couldn't see, okay, that was the worst, then, by mistake of me not having no eyeglass, I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> by me not having any um, glue for my eyelashes, I ran into this other thing to help me, and it works better than all of them. For those that do know about it, got to be glued, just like it glued your hair down, it glued your eyelashes down as well. And it didn't give me no sensitivity or anything. So I was like blessed. I felt like a million bucks. Like, yes, this is this is it right here. Because I was still able to see. My eyes wasn't itching. I, I, I felt good. So it didn't take out my eye, my real eyelashes. So, yeah. So first, um, I'm going to start with my, eye, my eyebrows. Now, this is a little hard for me, y'all. Because... I'm not used to doing it in camera. I'm always in the mirror with my lighting. Even though my lighting here is pretty good, but it's just a little harder. Um, so just bear with me. Now, I never go to get my eyelashes um, waxed and none of that. I, I, once in a blue moon, I might do it. I maintain them myself. It's like it's a part of, a part of me. So I get up. You know, if I don't have my razor, because, you know, I, I can shape them up with my razor, I'll use this, okay? Which is an eyebrow. I don't know if y'all can see it. Eyebrow shaper. Now, for those that don't know me, I normally have a unibrow. I hated my unibrow, so I will always cut it off. So I've been using this thing for a long time to cut off my unibrow. So I would go in here and just shave that hair from that unibrow and get that off. Okay, this is really hard for me, and then
right? Now, we're done with that. And you see the smooth finish. You don't see no caking. I thought I applied <laughs> three layers already. <laughs> but that's why you have to blend and you have to have the right type of stuff. That's the other thing. You know, sometimes we go out here and get this stuff because it costs a lot of money and think it's going to work right. And then you all caked up looking crazy. All right. Give me one second. Y'all yeah, know I got to have a taste of my Red Bull. No thirsty. Now it's time for the bronzer. Okay. Now with my bronzer, I go in. I like my, my nose to be uh, a little st stand out a little bit. Just a little. So I put some. I don't know if y'all see uh, Rihanna. She used a lot of bronzer. And she does pretty much her whole face. And it's, it's pretty. You know, on her skin tone, it's really pretty. And that's what you have to do. Look at other girls with, or females, with their makeup. And, you know, just see how you can highlight your stuff. You know, and make you look the way you want to look. This, this, this eye is still puffy here, so there's nothing I can do about the puffiness. But, I mean, it is, because there's uh, some stuff that I can order I'm hearing that can help me take the puffiness away. Um, that's why mainly when I do makeup and pictures and stuff, I do it in the evening, because then by then, I being took all my medicine, my allergy medicine, everything being came down. But this morning, I still have a little puffiness. And I've tried several things with this, these puffy eyes, and guess what? It didn't work. I've spent so much money trying to work on these puffy eyes, and it just don't work. But after a while, it will go down throughout the day, and that's the thing I do like about um, when my allergies start to calm down it will go down to normal it just takes time so now i finished my bronzer i believe to everywhere i like but i do want to do this nose again a little bit more and it's like i said it's hard to see y'all because i'm not used to doing it in the camera i'm always in a mirror with a lot of light lighting you know so all right, that's done. Okay, no, not totally. Over here, I didn't blend. And like I said, I'm learning how to do it in the camera. I'm gonna learn day by day. I'm trying it, and then eventually I'll try that luminous, because like I said, I hate it. Okay, now to the fun part. This is the fun part. My fun part that I love. And that's doing my eyeshadow. Now, I blend so many colors. I, I got a palette here. I'm going to show y'all. And Oh, and I did want to let y'all know I will be coming out with my own palette called The Diamond Way by Miss JJ Diamond. Uh, that should be hopefully be out by July or August. 